These days, we are all obliged to kill. But us, hunters, we're a bit more complicated than that. We mastered the art of the pursuit. Like predators out in the wild. We set sights and act accordingly. But the hunt never ends. One mark always leads to the next. The wounds run deep with a distinct green glow. It's the hawk. I've been trailing her for days now. She is unlike your typical banshee. She's fast, strong, smart, unaffected by broad daylight. Other hunters say she can plague the minds of men. And something tells me I'm going to need another pair of hands. All right, let's go. An aid from someone who can withstand great danger. Someone quick on their feet, attentive, resourceful. Capable of handling long-range weapons and intricate traps. Where is it? Someone who can embody the spirit of a hunter. Hello, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that little montage a minute ago. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you the fundamentals or basics of archery. That would be the crossbow, the ballista, PK crossbow, hunter's crossbow, anything of that matter. So I'm going to start off with the bow because it is the most simple. And it is the one that you can unlock earliest in the game next to the peacekeeper crossbow. You have a wide selection of arrows here. I'm not going to explain each one because I'm sure you know what each one does. But the bow still has its utility. Many people think that the crossbow is just simply better than the bow, which that is not the case. There's mul there's the, I think the bow has a lot more utility than the crossbow. I'll give you a few examples right here. First of all, you don't have to reload the bow. You can still shoot it very fast. Something that I found out is that the bow does the same amount of damage regardless of whether or not you're fully drawn back or only if you tap the right trigger. Let me give an example. Fully drawn back right here, kills him. If I just tap the right trigger and don't fully draw the bow back, still just a one kill, one shot kill, just like that. So you can actually clear people out very quickly with the bow if you just aim at their head and tap the right trigger like a semi-auto weapon, much like a crossbow. And you can just clear out tons of enemies like that. You just have to make sure that you're hitting with their head. It can be a little bit more difficult at a distance. So that's the downside. If you just tap the right trigger, you can see that the arrow does not go as far and it has more of an arc. If you pull it back all the way, it gets to the target much quicker, and it's much more accurate. I'll give you another example here. If I do not pull the bow back all the way, just tap it, it takes a long time to get there. If I pull the bow back all the way, the velocity is much greater, as well as it having penetrability sometimes. Penet it can penetrate its target. That's what I was trying to say. Now, for the Huntress crossbow. Works similar to the bow. It's most of the time a one-shot kill, however it can one-shot kill the body. The thing with the bows is you have to be good at getting headshots. That's the main thing with bows. Bows, I think, are better than the crossbow if you're good at headshots. The crossbow is a little bit more beginner-friendly. However, the Huntress crossbow does have one specific ability that makes this thing absolutely incredible, and that is it right here, parkour shot. Using this crossbow, stuns hit enemies. Requires custom-made lightweight hunter bolt to shoot. Now, what this means is that if you shoot someone right here, let me get these two guys out of the way. If you shoot an enemy, it won't do much, right? However, if you do a parkour shot, now a parkour shot is anything that you do that's in midair, like this. Hold down right trigger and you can aim at them. 
Any sort of parkour shot does increased damage and it stuns them. Watch the demolisher. Par a jump in the air, parkour shot. I mean, and, I mean, look at these guys. Look how long they're stunned for with one bolt. It's absolutely ridiculous, and that's what makes this thing so powerful. Now, the Huntress crossbow pairs perfectly with the ballista. I'm going to get some distance to explain how the ballista works. <clears throat> when I first started using the ballista, I thought that it was absolute garbage. I was using it like a regular bow, and it was just not doing the trick. I was trying to aim at people from a distance like this. Like this guy. I'm like, what the fuck? My shots aren't getting there. Maybe a little bit higher. Still, it took forever to get there, and it's inconsistent. Inconsistent. But the ballista, the ballista's strength shines in the same way that the Huntress crossbow works. It has a hidden ability when you are using parkour. Now, the ballista, you may have noticed, has to be drawn back all the way before you can shoot, which takes quite a while, like a second and a half to do that. And during that time, a lot of things can happen as well as your strafe speed with the ballista. It's very slow. You can see here that I'm barely moving. So you want to mix your parkour and the ballista, and that's when the ballista really starts to shine. So let me stun these guys. My crossbow. Switch to my ballista. Jump shot with parkour, and there it is. So with the ballista, when you do any sort of parkour shot, it is a hidden stat. Any sort of parkour shot, you do not have to draw back the string all the way. Let me show you right here. Most of the time, in a regular shot, have to draw back the string all the way, then you can shoot. Parkour shots, right in the head, right there. And so, I mean, I was able to kill him in three to four shots, the demolisher. And you saw how much damage the crossbow did, and the crossbow does like 900 and some damage. So, the bows in this game have an insane headshot multiplier. You can one-shot things that are pretty much equal or higher tier with the bows in this game, especially the ballista. So, in conclusion to sum up this video, the ballista is probably the most powerful weapon in the game. However, you need to combine the ballista's strength of parkour shots with headshots. And then you can two to one shot most things in the entire game. Um, I'm about to put out another video on the farm on my channel on how to attain crossbow and ballista ammunition. Uh, I just got the Huntress run down to about three and a half minutes to four minutes. I'm still working on it. So I do have a very efficient way to get plenty of ammunition for this. It is a very powerful archetype in the game, and I think it's the most fun archetype to play as an archer. Anyways, I hope you guys are able to find some sort of utility out of this video, and you guys' support is appreciated, so thank you and have a nice day.